Welcome back to Dirt to Daytona, folks. Today we have got Martinsville Speedway. We are back in the truck, and I am happy about that for now because I'd like to get back into some great equipment so I'm able to actually maybe drive well. I don't know. We'll find out. Let me get out there, get reactivated with the truck, and uh, we'll see you at qualifying. Holy crap. Yeah, we're not. Well, I think that happened to us last year as well. We're not... Uh, this speed i don't know these are better than my best ever speed 20.2 is my best ever at this track i, think I need to figure that one out that's not great here we go qualifying lap let's you know try to put together our best lap ever i guess because that's not how you do it though yeah that's definitely not how you do it that's unfortunate cold tires got into it a little too uh eh all right Oh, that's going to be a pretty slow lap, actually, I think. All right, 20.5. Yeah, that's not good at all. We've got our work cut out for us, and, uh, well, we're actually running, well, this is the endurance length, so I think it's 100 laps. 14. Wow. Holy crap, we've got a lot of work to do. Wow. Hello, and welcome to a piece of racing history, the Martinsville Speedway in South Central Virginia. Martinsville was opened before NASCAR was even founded. It's one of the sport's original tracks. This paper clip shaped half mile has grown from a dusty pioneer to a beautiful racing facility with personality and unique challenges every time. We got the truck going faster. Of course, to do that, you know what happens. You make it, well, a lot less stable. But we had to do what we had to do because we're back here. We need to pick up some spots. So we got our fastest ever during the happy hour. See how that translates to the race. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Bear with me. You know, we got to do our thing in the beginning Arlo. here. Where everybody Arlo. runs into each other in turn one and two. And uh, we dive it down. No, we're not diving it in. Well... We're going to get pitched by two trucks, but clean is not the goal here. That's for sure. Winning is the goal. Oh, my goodness, though. What is that, Hamilton? Translating evilness over from the uh, Cup Series here, buddy. All right. 124 or 125 total laps in this race we're gonna get passed by a lot of trucks if we don't figure out how to freaking get it yeah there we go get it down problem is is that we really want to get this truck uh inside but damn blaha here there we go we'll just get right in here hey hamilton hey bobby bobby daughter and bobby hamilton told you we loosened up the truck to cost us or will it Car high. All yeah clear. i threw it back in there all right uh i don't want to be on the outside but i gotta be Stay high. okay Stay i barely touched him i barely touched him i mean we touched him. oh we got damaged to the front right i was like why am i Still there. that might have happened in the very beginning when we got pinched and that's why we're having such a hard time getting around the corner not great. I mean, we're riding around a 14th now. Again, I said this all last season, so welcome back to the truck race. We got Ratner and Hoff and Blaha. They're all up in it because everybody upgrades their trucks. Triple digits be damned. They are uh, they're real truck drivers now. We just need to get back inside and start picking them off one at a time. It's you know, going to happen a little bit of a aggressiveness but it should be all right. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm going to poke my nose in and <laughs> work my way around them. But that was a great lap. the real fight comes up with the, wow, I really overdrove that. And that's going to cost us. Blaha's there. Oh my goodness. Clear it's, uh, wow, I'm just, I totally missed my breaking point again. Arlo. I think I'm panicking. I need to stop. 
need to just remember okay. that we have a top tier truck and we can race these cars other trucks i don't know why i went from trucks to cars but Clear low. hit the curb there so that's going to cost us some speed and shoot us up the track all right so what do we have 63 laps on the tank this is a one-stop race, which is hilarious because it's not a one-stop race. It's a however many cautions come out stop race. <laughs> and, of course, we have damage, so if we're not pitting at 63, we're pitting with the caution that happens. But we would like to start driving appropriately and catch up to the trucks in front of us instead of fighting with Blaha. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the focus thing, and we'll catch you, you know, when stuff happens. Get our lap back. All right, that's good. Thank goodness. We're going to pit. We're all damaged up. It's our fault. Um, we have no speed in comparison to these guys. We got we got lap. I mean, yeah, we messed up, but we got lap. Got to get it. We got to get it in order. Plenty of laps to do it in, so we'll pit, and we'll get it figured out. Well, here we go. Uh, back of the pack because we pit really late like a moron. I don't know why it didn't pit when I told it to pit first time. I maybe didn't click the button. That's on me. But uh, now we get to drive up from the back, which is worse than what we had. We were sitting in 13th place. So we'll, uh, we got our work cut out for us and, you know, I'm going to give you some, I'll give you some time with just me doing this without speeding up and then we're going to speed it up. I don't really have much to say and I got to focus. Still there. All clear. Car high. All clear. Caution flies again. Not sure what it was for this time, but at least this time we're not pitting. So we can, if other people pit or nothing happens, we'll sneak some spots real quick. And there we are. Uh, up to 24th. Damage to the front end is going to just stay there because we bounce off of people and that's just what happens. But I think it's just, oh, it's red. Well, it doesn't matter because it's not a track that aerodynamics matter. So we'll see you after the caution. All right, here we are, 18th place. The race is going green. There's the green flag. <laughs> Car high. Going a little slow to make that move, but here we go. 16th place now. And everybody, I mean, it's awesome how many people just slam into each other going into turn, well, turn two, I guess. Make our mad dash up towards the front, hopefully. Still there. Oh, brakes just did not grab that time. Sorry, melons. Clear high. Clear low. 
Big scrap that time. They're just so... Look at that. Huge pile up. Skarecki up over. Because he lands on his wheels, he's fine. <laughs> Unbelievable. Minor damage to us. We got through it. We're in top 10. <laughs> Who'd have thought, right? Nobody. Turn. Rotate. All right. Jeez, guys. Calm down. Off is fast. I don't... Is he behind or is he a lap in front? I don't... Yeah, he must be a lap behind us. Ah! Carlo. Need to pay attention to my freaking breaking points, man. Still there. All clear. It's not about the stopping. It's about the how fast can you get back on the gas. And if you don't stop early or if you don't slow down early enough, you can't get on the gas quick enough and so your drive off is null and they drive away. That's the whole point. All clear. Clear high. That's going to be a bad one. Fragment's going to hold us up, isn't he? Oh, we just got super tight off there. him up too hard i don't mind Carlo. bickle oh i do mind bickle but Stay high. Still there. oh come on you let setzer do that to you which did it to us thanks bickle you want to drive up into me i have no fear on this track of well, wrecking Still your there. day buddy Carlo. get out get out of Stay my way high. stupid I'm not trying so much to do that with Huff, but Bickle's just bouncing all over the place. If you want to be a dick, well, you're going to get sent. Oh. I need, I'm not slowing down early enough. I'm not backing my corners up enough, and that's my problem. Stay high. Still there. Of course, the damage isn't helping. We've kind of gotten a little tight now, so... I just want to, I need to turn into the corner and stay inside. That's the best way to catch and pass is, you know, shortest way around the track. All right, let's speed it up now. It looks like everything's kind of calmed down a bit. Caution flies. Couldn't happen at a better time. Past the halfway point, we can pit. If we can somehow get through the rest of the race without any mechanical damage, we, you know, could salvage a pretty decent race. Um, we, we don't, we do not have a winning truck. So temper your expectations. But, you know, we've got a truck and we're in it. So it's going to keep racing and not mind the damage.
But we got majorly screwed. Um, Pregman. No, it wasn't Pregman. Who was it? Somebody ran over. Someone ran over um, Schrader's wrecked car, truck, whatever, and we couldn't get around him on pit road, and we got lapped by the pace car because we had damage to fix. And so now we are down a lap. But a lot of people are down a lap. Oh, that hurt. That hurt bad. Yeah, we're down a lap. Um, well, that didn't hurt as bad as I thought it did, actually. How many spots do we have the ability to pick up? I don't know. But I know that we're not in a great position, so whatever. Full tires still, I guess, because we drive slow right now. You know, it went from a cheerful situation to a really unfortunate and crabby situation that that happened. Because it was of no fault of our own at all that we are stuck behind a stop car on pit road because the Sprite truck runs through Schrader and literally had him say, I'll show you a picture or whatever of it. Little tiny inbox picture. Just absolute BS put us in the situation we're in. And, uh, you know, now we're running 15th, trying to maybe pick up two spots. I don't know. We don't have to pit again. That could be our saving grace. None of the trucks that were on the outside pit. So that could be a big save for us if there isn't another caution. Tell me this race goes without another caution. I'm not even saying because of us. The last caution didn't come out. As a matter of fact, the last two cautions didn't come out because of us. So, you know, whatever. We're, uh, we're sitting here in traffic. Working on just picking up. I mean, the whole point, the whole game here is drive off. So it's not about getting to them and blocking them in the corner and getting under them in the corner. It's, it, well, it isn't not to that, but the drive off is where you're able to get that. So you get up under them or you don't get up under them. You get to the corner, normal behind them. You have a better drive off so you can get on side of them. So the next corner, you have the inside moment or inside position. As you can see, Hamilton and um, Blaha playing the hard inside game. Looks like Blaha's going into the pits. No, oh, he's just driving that freaking inside line like a psycho. What was even that? What is he doing? He's not even driving in the inside lane. He's driving on the pit lane lane. It's working for him, though. So, interesting stuff here. I'm really surprised that he's not just pitting the way he's driving that line. We've got fresh tires. Um, I don't really care about how banged up the truck is. It doesn't matter. This is all just aerodynamic stuff. So, um, Nilsson and Presley. Well, Nilsson's attainable. He's right in front of us. Presley's kind of driven away. I don't know what to do. We're just going to drive it out and hope that other trucks have to pit and we get our lap back or even better than that, get positions from them because they're pitting under green. Because we do not have to do that. That's, that should be a big deal for us. If there is a caution, which we just made happen, no. If there is a caution, then... Uh, oh, close. If there is a caution, then we're in trouble. As far as gaining positions goes. We hurt the radiator there? No, just the front right tire. All right. Not just the, but... Got Lester back there. I think he's got a lap on us already, so we don't want him to pass us again. He's on his way. Not going to stop him, I guess. Just 
Just try to drive nicely and hit whatever marks I can and not have him pass me, but it's not looking good. He's out breaking me. And then with the way I just did that, really screwed up. Oh, thanks. No, really, I appreciate you smashing into my back end. I'm just breaking in my in my spot. I can do that. What a dick. Now we're tight. We're super tight off. That front right damage is affecting the turn big time. We can't, yeah. Grant is able to accelerate earlier than me because I'm tight. Stay high. Still there. So, uh, nine to go for us. I'm still not sure. I still feel like trucks need to pit. Like, I don't... I'm not sure how these trucks are out here. And, and haven't pit. Like, I feel like the outside lane needed to pit yet. It was not the... It was not the good for them. So, I don't understand what happened. But, uh... I mean, we're in 12. We qualified worse than that. It's been a, been a race for us, that's for sure. I'm just a little confused about that pitting part. Also, the thing that happened with Schrader is why we're a lap down and not battling for a better position. Um, that part sucked. But, you know, in last year's race when we won this, we ended up beating Wood. Well, a couple other people ended up passing him too, but it was... Oh, there's Dawn going down, so maybe it is happening. Maybe it is happening now. Anyway, it was a crazy race, and we never should have won that race, and the races we should have won it, later on in the season, we didn't win, so I guess this, this season, this race isn't really the one I'm concerned about as far as that goes. I'm more on a race of redemption on... Uh, other races. Oh, here we go. Got a Ratner just plowing it into the corner on me. Skorecki wrecked again. I'm going to definitely hold this inside because Ratner's for position. Lester isn't. I am going to block him. Not because I'm trying to block him, but because I'm trying to put space between me and Ratner. Tight down. Get down there. We're fine. Everything's great. 
This is going to be terrible in the cup car, especially since because of your request, we're running in endurance, so it'll be probably a 200 lap race. Oh, ooh, Crawford. Weird. He had the position. I wasn't cutting down on him. Last lap. Last lap. Well, what the hell? Turn 11. Um, just gonna. <laughs> we never let Lesser pass us, which is funny. It wasn't even for position with him. I just wanted to battle him. We never did let him pass us. How rude are we? Um, the race was fine. We got screwed on the one lap down thing. That was really it. Because when I look at it, yeah, we would have absolutely, if we were still in the lead lap, it was for Bill Lester. We never let him lap us, and that was the thing. So we could have actually gotten eighth place if we were racing Bill that whole time. We didn't let Rick Crawford pass us either, technically, so maybe seventh place. Dick Blaha, he was on the outside, and he stuck with it. We were definitely faster than him. Rest of them, not so much. Not really our track with this truck, but hey, 11th place is fine. I'm not... We're not aiming... I mean, of course, you always want to win the races, but you got to understand, sometimes you just don't have the equipment or the setup to win the race. Didn't matter how good I could have possibly driven this race, I was not going to win this race. We did not have the speed in the truck to fight with Bobby Dodder, and I think he led... Well, yeah, he led most laps. He's got the two stars. So. Anyway, and we got screwed again. So there it is. That is really freaking annoying. I don't know what to do about that, but it's going to make us go broke. Anyway, uh, Bobby Dodder emerged victorious at Martinsville on April 10th. Not much else to say there. I'm so frustrated with that uh, bonus thing not giving me my bonus. We're still in first place by 14 points. In the next episode, it's uh, $1 million Martinsville, Speed Martinsville Speedway Cup Series Endurance. We're going endurance, folks. That one's going to be a long recording. But if you like it, you know you like it, and that's what we're doing this for. I look forward to the strategy that comes with an endurance race in the Cup Series. It'll be a lot longer, of course. I bet it's a 200-lap race. Um, It'll be, what is this one? Just took about an hour. It's probably an hour and a half. That's no big deal. We'll break it down. We'll see if we can make it a 45-minute video. But they're, like I said, when I did the voting thing, it's gonna there will be longer videos because I don't want to get rid of any of the content. Good, bad, indifferent, doesn't matter guys get to see it so anyway though that is going to do it for this episode folks i do want to take a moment out as i like to do to thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and as always and until next time you take care